Hello guys, I will show you an agent-based modeling simulation about the climate in Nil Lesund. Uh, this is a place in Norway. And uh, let me tell you about what are the components of this agent-based modeling. Let's click go and see a little bit faster. Okay, we have our first elements here. As you can see, the uh, yellow uh, arrows are the short wave radiation coming from the sun. And these uh, red arrows are the long wave radiation emitting from the earth itself uh, as if it was a black body. And then as you can see, uh, okay, here, uh, this short wave radiation converted into a red ball, which will heat up the soil actually. And in a few moments when this uh, red ball uh, hit the again the surface of the of the earth it will uh, emit itself into an, a long wave radiation all right so okay let's do it a little bit uh, faster okay uh, as we have here in this excess is the insulation this is calculated by uh, the latitude of the of the place in new lesson the longitude and well uh, it depends on the ticks which every tick uh, may be an hour uh, of time elapsed so well as you can see a little bit here we have daily cycles this is journal cycles which actually every time are getting a little bit higher more insulation because well as you may uh, notice it, it will have also a seasonal cycle. Uh, and well, in this, re uh, in this right side, there is the soil temperature. It will uh, increase uh, at the same rate of the heat balls and also here the air temperature, which right now is around minus 10 Celsius. So, okay, maybe you have noticed uh, here, let me increase the snow frequency Okay, maybe just a lot more in order you can see it. Okay, here is it and the intensity. Okay, this means that we'll snow more frequently and with more intensity. It will be more meters of snow depth. And then as you can see here, uh, in order to disappear as snow block, uh, it must be uh, we need a red this is a long wave radiation and uh, what also the snow uh, patches does is to reflect the short wave radiation, okay? So well, as you can see, some of this short wave radiation is reflected by the snow and well, uh, let's put it in some values like something like this and going faster, faster, faster. As you can see, this is the seasonal cycle this uh, this is moving very fast and as we can see their temperature is ranging from minus 20 to around uh, well the maximum is around four or five six nine even ten degrees celsius and well this is a simple way to model the earth surface temperature using snow using radiation and uh, some other things and of course this can be improved and uh, well, we will be working on that in the future. Thank you very much for watching. You can see the paper, the full article that support all these in the link that I gave you here in the description. Thank you, like and subscribe. Goodbye.